I am so sorry. That does it! Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Deadpool 3D print. This is what we're working on today. I've been itching to, to do a 3D print for a long time and I picked one up while I was in Chelmsford. Now I will leave the links in the description to where you can pick these up from in the Essex area. This guy does some amazing 3D prints and these are really detailed guys and very clean as well. You can see a lot of 3D prints that are like, obviously sort of rushed, I suppose, and the actual details don't look very good, but this one is absolutely mint, guys, on the details. You get a nice little velvet bottom so when it's on your surface it don't slip around it's nice really really clean so we're going to paint this one up today and we're going to chop it up adapt it and we're going to turn this into an airbrush stand for the studio so where you've got the two swords to the back we're going to chop these down i'm going to mount two airbrush holders so where you've got the v swords at the back the deadpool you will have two brushes that slot into the back I just think it'll make it a really cool feature for the studio, something cool to look at. So the first thing I'm gonna do, because this is plastic and it's the first 3D print I've done, I'm gonna go the way I would paint it with primers and things like that. So I'm gonna go with the plastic primer first, hit that down, that'll be a solvent. And then we're gonna go in with a black base coat. I'm gonna work from this off of the black base coat. We've got some of the Multimix Hyper Silver, which I'm gonna put on as well just to give it some little highlights in places. We're gonna use Golden High Flow. We've got some specialist paints for the black base. Golden High Flow acrylics, we've got some transparents. We've got some opaques. We've got some brushes to do some little intricate work with. And then as this is, as this is staying inside, it's not gonna be outside getting weathered. I'm gonna clear this and finish it in a matte varnish. I don't want it gloss out, I want it all matte looking, and that's what we'll do. So I'll stick in time lapses. I'll try and talk through as much as I can um, through the stages, but the first stage is to hit it with a Dremel and chop these bits off. Then we've got to hit it with a drill and drill through and mount these two little airbrush hangers to it, and I will paint and prime all the airbrush hangers so it's all blended in and spray all these in so it looks like it's all one piece instead of the two airbrush hangers looking a bit odd standing out. So let's crack on guys and let's start chopping Deadpool up. See you in a minute. bits chopped off with the Dremel. I filled the tops of where the two sword tops were because this is a 3D print you get like hollow sections. So I filled them and then we've mounted these are the SWA cable holders that you get and they're perfect for airbrush holders. So I've just put a bolt straight through as you can see there. This will look all nice when it's all painted and all blended in. But the airbrushes sit really nice. I'm going to use this for two harder and steam bakes. They just slide in the back like that and a nice little airbrush holder. They just hold in there like that, not a problem at all. So a nice one for a table mount if you want to do a Deadpool airbrush holder, nice and simple. Just drill through, chop the tops off, done a little bit of filler work on the top to fill them drill them through within, I think it's about an eight mil, and then just put a little eight mil bolt through, and they just tighten up and thread up into the actual 3D print the opposite side. So we can now get this into primer, we're gonna plastic primer all this, and then we're gonna black base coat it, paint all these in, just gonna paint straight over the bolts in like a solvent, as this is gonna be slot internal, it's not really gonna get knocked and all you're doing is sliding the brushes into the holders there. So 
So nice and simple, looks pretty cool. Well, it will look, will look cool when it's finished. So we'll move on in the next time lapse. We're gonna drop some plastic primer down. Just give this a nice dust coat plastic primer. And then you'll just see me start working in the black and then all the colors and we'll get this finished off. So I'll see you in the next time lapse. Right, in that little time lapse, guys, you see I dropped some plastic primer down. The Standox plastic primer went down on this absolutely fine. Nice coat of the PS2 Nitec, just a nice dust coat over, a couple of coats dried, and then a solvent black to finish, and that has gone on really, really well. And it's blended these brackets in nice now with the black. So we are gonna paint it. I've got a reference picture just here. So he's got like the brown pieces on the like the clip belt that goes round, black shoulders, bit of warm red, black on the eyes. So sort of simple colours on this, sort of like the red round here, the black on the centres, little whites in the eyes. So we're just going to airbrush this nice and light and I'll add my little tweaks to it. So I'll see you in the next time lapse. <laughs> I don't know how much we got caught up in that time lapse, but I finished it. We've got Deadpool done, so it's a nice sort of not really bright colours. You've got all the shadows and all the intricate pieces. We've got like the leather pouches around there in the brown with the drop shadows. And then I went in with a hyper silver, hyper silver the bottom and hyper silver over the shoulder blades just to make them pop a little bit and then went in with a transparent shading grey and just over the top of the hyper silver and that just gives it that 
smoked sort of effect over the silver. But it's, it's all done. Next thing to do is we're going to matte clear this. Matte clear it up, just give it a nice coat of matte clear and that'll just dull off any shiny bits and it'll be done. So I just hope there's enough recording the time lapse. Nice and easy to do guys because you're, I find things like this easier to do than painting actual portraits of people because all the shapes are there and you just add the shadows where they need to go on the actual pieces and then you can put, put the highlights in. I went in with a couple of tones of red, used an artist brush on some of the intricate bits like the little playing card there. But the rest of it was just airbrush, nice and simple, really relaxing to do. Just have the radio on in the background and just paint it guys. Reference, I was looking now and again, but I was just working it how I wanted to work it. But it's come out really good, so we'll get the mat clear on, dry it off, and we'll stick the airbrushes in and give you a little pan around when it's all done. So there you go guys, that's the Deadpool airbrush holder all painted up and finished. We'll be using this in the studio. It'll be just on the side with a couple of airbrushes in. So nice and easy to make. I'll leave a link in the description where you can pick up these 3D prints. There'll be a website. And I'm sure it's a link to Facebook as well, but it does do delivery as well. It does some really nice prints. And if there's a print that you're after, send over sort of an image and it will sort it out and make you a, a 3D print of it. So that's the Deadpool one, the new airbrush holder for the Harder and Steambex. It's came out really nice guys, nice, easy to do, plastic primered. Then I went in with some solvent black base coat, dropped that in, let that dry off, and then just went in with the airbrush colors and then used a matte varnish to finish it off. So I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget if you're new to the channel, Click that subscribe, press that notification, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Cheers.